In this video, we will learn how to get the complement of a set. Let's consider a set A with the elements 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. A set B with the elements 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And a universal set whose elements are the numbers from 1 to 10. To get the complement of a set, which is represented by the apostrophe symbol, we have to consider the part of the universal set that does not belong to the given set. For example, let's say we have to get the complement of A. A has the elements 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Therefore, the complement of A is the complement of the set of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. To get the answer, let's look at the universal set. In the universal set, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. But these numbers belong to the given set A, so we do not include them in the complement. So, the complement consists of the numbers 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, next, let's say we have to get the complement of set B. B has the elements 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Therefore, the complement of B is the complement of the set of 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, to get the complement, again, let's look at the universal set. We have here 1, 2. They do not belong to the set B. Therefore, they are included in the complement. So, we have 1, 2. But 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7 are included or they belong to set B. So, we discard them. Then, we add 8, eight 9, and 10. For the problems, let's say we, have, we are given the set A with elements 1, 2, 3, 4. Set B with the elements 3, 4, 5, 6. Set C with the elements 6, 7, 8, 9. And the universal set whose elements are the numbers from 1 to 10. First problem. Let's say we have to get the complement of set A. Set A has the, has the elements 1, 2, 3, 4. So the complement of A is the complement of the set of 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, if we look at the universal set, we have a 1, 2, 3, 4. They belong to set A, so we have to discard them. The complement of the of set A, <coughs> therefore, consists of 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. How about the complement of set B? Set B has the, the elements 3, 4, 5, 6. Therefore, the complement of B is the complement of the set of 3, 4, 5, 6. In the universal set, we have 1, 2. They do not belong to set B, so we have here 1, 2. The numbers 3, 4, 5, 6 belong to set B, so we have to discard them. Then we add 7, 8, 9, 10 to the complement. How about the complement of C? Set C has the elements 6, 7, 8, 9. Therefore, the complement of C is the complement of the set of 6, 7, 8, 9. In the universal set, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. They do not belong to set C, so we, have, we can include them in the complement. But, however, the numbers 6, 7, 8, and 9 belong to set C, so we have to discard them. Then we add the number 10. For the remaining problems, let's say we are given the same set A, B, C, and the universal set. Next problem, let's say we, oh, as in this problem, we can also get the complement of an operation or expression. So, we have here the complement of the union of sets A and B. Okay, set A has the elements 1, 2, 3, 4. Then we have the union. Set B has the elements 3, 4, 5, 6. And then we have to get the complement of the entire expression. To simplify, first we evaluate the expression inside the parenthesis. So the union or the combination of the, all the elements of these two sets is 1, 2, 3, 4. We already have 3, 4, so we add 5, 6. Okay, and then we have to get the complement of this resulting set. Okay, how do we get the complement of this set? We look at the universal set. In the universal set, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. But these numbers, but those numbers are included in the, in the resulting set. Therefore, we discard 
them. So, the elements of the complement start with 7, then we have 8, 9, 10. Okay, this time we have the complement of the intersection of sets B and C. Set B has the elements 3, 4, 5, 6. Then we have intersection. Set C has the elements 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, and then we have to get the complement of the entire expression. First, we have to evaluate the expression inside the parentheses. This is an intersection, so we have to consider only the common elements, and that, in this case, is the number 6. So the resulting set is the set of 6, and we have to get the complement of that. Since we only have 6 in this set, the, the complement of this consists of the numbers from 1 to 10, except the number 6. Lastly, what if we have to get the complement of the null set? We know that the null set is part of any set, so it is part of the universal set, but it has no elements. Therefore, the complement of the null set consists of all the elements of the universal set, or the complement of the null set is the universal sound. If you have any question, please leave a comment.